Hi everyone, this is Yogesh and welcome back. In today's video, I will be discussing like what are the five mistakes I did while learning DSA. So yeah, in this video, I will be learning all the five points in a detailed manner. So watch this video till the end, right? So yeah, without wasting any time, let's start our video. Mistake number one: a proper learning path was not followed. So in my case, like I was having a prior knowledge of C++ and Java, but when I came in college, like I didn't follow any path or roadmap. I directly started CP level questions, right? And due to which I was not able to solve any problem. And then after that, I realized that before starting any tough level, that is CP level problems, I have to first go through the data structures and algorithm concept. So yeah, what is the learning from this mistake is that. First, have a basic understanding of any programming language like C++, Java, or Python, and after that, have a knowledge of data structures and algorithms. And after solving some sufficient amount of problems in DSA, you have to go to the CP level problem, right? Mistake number two: no consistency. So in my case, like I was not consistent too much. Like I used to solve a problem today, then I used to take two days break. I used to do some other stuff, and after two days, I used to again solve some problems. Again, I used to have some three days break. I used to do some other stuff, and I, again, I used to solve the problems after three days. So due to which, like I was not leveling up. I was, I cannot see any growth in myself, and it was like I, I have to again start everything from the scratch. So yeah, one more thing, like uh, I also used to do like that. For one week, I was not doing anything. Like I used to do other things, but I was not solving any problem. And in the weekends, I used to solve five, ten problems, right? So I don't think that you should follow this. So what are the so what understanding and what learnings you are getting from this is that you should be consistent, right? Because if you are consistent, you will see a in improvement in yourself. You will see a improvement in your problem solving skills. Like if you are solving one problem, no issues, but solve problems daily. So you should be consistent, and you will see an improvement in you. Mistake number three: checking editorials without spending sufficient amount of time in a problem. So what was there in my case? Like uh, whenever I used to solve any problem, simply I used to spend two to five minutes, and after that I used to go to the editorials or any or editorial videos, and simply I used to switch to the next problem. So what was the drawback? Like I was not improving in my logic building. Like um, if I am not spending too much time in any problem, then how my logic building will be improved, right? So what is the learning from this is that if you are solving any easy, medium, or hard level any problems, please give sufficient amount of time to understand the problem and try to think and try by yourself so that your logic building skill will improve. Like if it is an easy problem, please give around 20 to 25 minutes. If it is a medium level problem. Please give around 40 to 45 minutes. If it is a hard level problem, please give around 50 to 55 minutes. Like if you will devote, let's an example of easy problem. If you are devoting 20 to 25 minutes in thinking, like how you have to solve this problem, you can see a improvement in your logic building. So please give sufficient amount of time for solving any problem. Mistake number four: not leveling up problem difficulty. So when I was solving some easy level problems, like after solving sufficient amount of problems, I came in a comfort zone. Like whatever easy problem I was getting, I was easily able to solve. So what I thought that yeah, like I am sufficient, like I am able to solve all the problems, and I came in a comfort zone. But like in a contest, when I used to get any like higher level problems, like medium or hard, I was facing difficulties in solving the problems. So what is the Issue here, like I was not leveling up. Like when I was able to solve easy level problems, I came in a comfort zone, and I was not leveling up by solving any medium or hard level problems. So what is the learning from this point is that when you are solving easy level problems, and when you are when you are thinking that yeah you are able to solve solve all the problems of easy level, that is you are in a comfort zone, level up, go to medium level problems, solve medium level problems. Again, when you are thinking that yeah, after solving a sufficient amount of media problems, you are in a comfort zone. Level up, go to hard level problems. So like this, you have to level up each and every time when you are seeing that you are in a comfort zone. Mistake number five: no revision at regular interval. So whenever I was learning any new concept, I never used to revise. That is. I was only learning, learning, and learning. And what was the result? After a sufficient amount of time, I used to forget the things which I have learned previously. So take an example. Whatever things you are learning today, right? It can happen that after six months or after one year, you will forget those concepts. So what is the solution for this? 
so you have to revise an equal interval of time whatever things you are learning today have a take a interval like monthly monthly or weekly weekly or bi weekly bi weekly you have to revise so that you will not forget the concept right which are whichever thing you are learning in your course so please have to always revise in equal interval of time like in my case i used to revise bi weekly but it completely depend upon you like you want to revise weekly bi weekly or monthly so yeah so these are the five mistakes which i wanted to share with you all guys i think now you have understand a lot of things from this video and i guess you will not repeat this mistake so yeah if you have watched this video till the here and uh, please like this video and uh, okay let's meet in another video okay bye bye